Pro, and it's not playing nice with your nice with your smart board. Whether the pens aren't working quite correctly or sliders aren't working right, just in general, the connectivity is wrong. The problem could be with your system's preferences. So here's how to address that. On your MacBook Pro, go over to or your MacBook Air, go to your Apple and open System's Preferences. From System's Preferences, we're going to open Privacy and Security. From here, we're going to scroll down to accessibility. And here, there, here we're going to unlock this menu. So now I'm going to bring some things into this box over here. I personally prefer to do it like this. I come down to my dock, open with my finder window, applications. Viewing this as a list, I can more easily see uh, smart technologies. I'll double click on that. And I'm just going to do a command A to select all. And I'm going to drag them all right over into there. Now, there's another folder in here, smart tools. I'm going to open up smart tools. I'm going to do another command A to select all and drag them over. Now, all of this is going into accessibility. Now, there's one other tricky little piece to this. Um, in Smart Technologies, in the Smart Technologies folder, uh, Smart s Settings needs to be opened. And it's not the kind of thing that opens uh, in a normal way. You have to right click on it or two finger tap it. And then you have the option to show package contents. Do that. When you do that, the contents folder opens up. Expand that. Expand Mac OS. And there, in this folder, you're going to be, see something called Smartboard Service. Smartboard Service, we're going to drag right over. It doesn't matter where it lands. Make sure it's checked off. And that's an accessibility. Then we're going to come down below accessibility and click on input monitoring. In input monitoring, we're also going to drag Smartboard Service. It might give you this message, Smartboard Service will not be able to monitor until blah, blah, blah. Quit and reopen, that's fine. Now, we can lock this up. Well, let's just see it's checked off. Make sure everything in accessibility is checked off. Yep, and now we can close the lock. Now, we can close the security and privacy settings. When you connect to your smart board and you toggle over to the input 1 or input 2 uh, of the HDMI for your smart board, your smart board should now work properly.